Hi guys, what's up? This is Noel. Are you guys excited for Dangerous Belian? Here I have Perfect Belian and today we're going to look at Dangerous Belian and what we know so far. Also, we're going to do like a recap of the previous episode from Dynamite Battle, episode 28. And be careful, spoiler alert. Let's get right into it. Alright, so Dangerous Belian. It has the burst stopper system, which is very similar to the burst lock system from the Chozy Spriggan or other Chozy Beyblades. Speaking of burst lock, there is also the infinite lock system from Genesis and Apocalypse. We've also had like the burst stopper system from World Spriggan, which I found was great, that worked pretty well. But for Dangerous Belial, I think we just have to wait and see how that's going to work out. It says we have to shoot Belial with a certain amount of power to activate the burst lock system. But I don't think that's a problem because the set also includes the full custom Beyblade launcher. And with a power gear, it would be very easy to activate the system. And by looking at Dynamite Belial, the perfect form of Belial, we see there are four gears the L gear, S gear, V gear, and F gear. All of these gears can be attached to Dangerous Belia, and hopefully it's going to be really, really heavy. And what I'm really looking forward to is the driver, the All Might driver. Um, Hero Academia? No. So this is another cool driver, which kind of reminds me of the Ultimate Reboot driver, or the Generate driver from Gebolos. So it seems like a really cool driver, which has a good balance of attack and stamina. And I think it would depend which arena or stadium we're going to use. If you're using the standard Dynamite Battle Stadium, we have to be careful because since the stadium is so huge, I'm kind of worried about the loss of stamina in this driver. But if the All Might driver with the overdrive system works perfectly, that won't be a problem, so we just have to wait a week. I'm planning to get the new set on the official release date. I live in Tokyo, so please, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and wait for it. I'm going to post a review unboxing battle video. And since we've been looking at Dangerous Belial, let's talk about the anime series, the previous episode. If you haven't seen it, be careful because this is going to include some spoilers. It was a very shocking episode, for me at least, because you know, Bell, he's a fun character. He's always kind of having fun, he's happy, he can be childish sometimes. But the thing we know about Bell and Belia is that Bell loves his Beyblade so much. He loves Belia. In the previous episode, he had this battle with Rashad. It was a very cool battle, but in the end, Belia got destroyed. Not only the Belia layer, but the Elgir got destroyed as well. Can you guys believe this? The Longinus inspired metal dragons got destroyed by Valkyrie. And you know, this this happened when you're watching Beyblade, but I, to be honest, I didn't want Savior Valkyrie to destroy a Beyblade, come on. Like the protagonist Beyblade of Vault Aoi, even if it's not blue, even if it's Rashad who's using it, come on, it's Savior Valkyrie. It's supposed to be a savior, not like a destroyer. So, you know, when Bell cried, when Belial got destroyed, I almost cried too. He only got to use the Elgir against Louis, and then he got destroyed. We'll have to see about the Elgir, because when Dangerous Belial is complete, we don't know if Bell is going to attach the additional gears to Dangerous Belial yet. Here we see the preview of the next episode, and there's Bell like doing some sketches of Dangerous Belial, which looks awesome. And I just noticed that the Dangerous Belial layer is very similar to the Savior layer. The shape, you know. Have a closer look. And the thing we need to discuss is that did Rashad destroy Bell's Beyblade on purpose? Rashad is a very complicated character. He seeks justice. He kind of feels like jealous of Bell sometimes, I think. He doesn't like Bell's fighting style much. And in this episode, we certainly saw Rashad's anger within him. So he was struggling, and then I looked back at the episode, and there was this curious thing that he said. Um, it was when 
Russia had used the short driver to make Valkyrie like, jump up and then dive into Belial. That's when Bell says that attack doesn't do anything to Belial. And Russia says, are you sure? It certainly did something. And we could consider this whether if it's a foreshadowing of the destruction of Belial and the Elgir. If it is, it means he did it on purpose. But, you know, I still have some faith in him. He's called Rashad Goodman. Let's hope he will be a good man. For now, he's kind of seeking justice in his own crazy way. We'll have to wait for the new Phoenix to come. Or, I think we need to call Shukri Nai, aka Red Eye, because he's like the master of, you know, dealing with these rogue bladers. And I just have one more thing to say. What's this thing on his shoulder? I mean, uh, I'm okay with it. We all have different tastes in outfit, but he suddenly changed his outfit. Although, I think that the new outfit of Basara is very cool. And they were having this competition, and Rashad won, and Idi Amal was actually number three. I'm wondering when we're going to get to see Magma Ifrit, because it looks like a very nice Beyblade. If you guys have any information regarding Magma Ifrit, please let me know in the comments below. This is pretty much what I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed, and see you in the next video. Bye!